Hello everybody and welcome back to Swedish Person React. I am Swedish and I just want to react to interesting videos about Sweden, life, everything. It could literally be funny montage, try not to laugh, to this video right here, which is 10 facts about Sweden. So let's get into it, your daily dose of Sweden. Here we go, top 10 facts around the world, this time. Yes, the Gamla de Fria. That's our national anthem. Welcome to 10 Facts About Sweden. Okay. Interesting how there's a robot talking, but let's see if he has anything interesting to say. Number one. Number one. Sweden's national animal is the moose. Okay. There are approximately yeah. 350,000 moose That's in Sweden. If and there's the famous uh, moose sign, you would see that on the side of the road. Basically just warning for mooses. I don't know if that's how you say... I think it's moose, even if it's two. Uh, basically moose crossing the, the road, yeah. Moose feels cornered. It sometimes lowers its head and rushes towards people. Every so this, year. this looks like kind of south, actually. I would I would assume this would be very far south in Sweden. There are approximately 6,000 oh road okay. accidents involving moose. I have never seen that Each before. year about one... 6,000 road incidents, in, including mooses. I don't know if that's correct. Um, I also don't know if 100,000 is correct. That sounds like a lot, but maybe. Um, 100,000 moose are killed during hunting season in Sweden. Yeah, that could happen. That's very unlucky. Um, basically, they get scared, as he said. And then I've actually, one time with my, with my dad, we were driving and we were going down this really steep hill. And then at the bottom of it, just all of a sudden, I think it was like three, like, I think they were deers, but maybe moose as well. Um, and they, basically elks, and they were just running over, and it was the, the mother and the babies. And that's what you have to look out for, because first, like, one or two come, like the mother, and then maybe a baby, but then a few others can come afterwards. So we just stopped, turned off the lights, and just let them pass. But it has happened. Luckily, I've never been in an accident like that guy, but it could Number happen. two. Sweden is the birthplace of many successful companies. That's right. According to British yep. Wired magazine, Sweden has the most digitally connected economy wow. in the world. That is true, actually. I will tell you one thing. Uh, right now, I live in the UK, but obviously, I've lived in Sweden for 20 years of my life. And the difference is incredible. Like, in the UK, you would have to ask for someone using a card, like a card to pay, uh, like, your groceries. But uh, in Sweden, it's completely like uncommon to use cash nowadays no one uses cash like everything is contactless everything is credit card or debit card and i will tell you one thing i went back to sweden last summer and as a habit i asked for card please because that's a common thing you say in the uk and the cashier she just looked at me and she was like wait huh she didn't even reply she didn't even notice what i was saying it was really awkward and then i was like uh okay i just pay with card so yeah we're digitally connected um so every time i come home it's always like oh my god we go 20 years a few examples of these companies are ikea ikea is h and m h and m yep clothes spotify <laughs> and okay spotify yep spotify is from uh sweden skype is developed by two swedes and an estonian if i'm not mistaken ikea ingvar kamprad rest in peace brother uh, legend he is basically like the ultimate entrepreneur in sweden and he uh, fun fact about him he was a billionaire multi-billionaire obviously owner of ikea founder he still drove with a volvo from like 1980 so he was a, he was a bit of a character number three sweden is one of the most internet active countries in the world in fact, 94% of Sweden's yeah, population do. uses the internet regularly. That means that Sweden is fourth in the world, only beaten by Norway, Iceland and the Falkland Islands. Yeah, everyone uses it. I mean, the 6% might be like elderly people. I don't know if they count. I, even babies use the internet nowadays. I know a bunch of, um, uh, that sounds weird, but uh, a bunch of like cousins of mine that are younger, like a few years old. They use like iPhones and stuff. I mean, I got my first iPhone when I was like 18 and I got my first smartphone when I was like 16. Um, but nowadays you get it when you're like two and uh, yeah, everyone, everyone uses the internet. Number four. 
The Sami people are indigenous people inhabiting the Arctic Sami. area of far northern Norway, Sweden, Finland and the Kola Peninsula of Russia. So that's interesting. So the Sami people are indigenous. They even have like their own radio channels. They have their own uh, TV channel. So we have like the equivalent of BBC back in Sweden, SVT. Uh, but I think they have their own version of that as well. And it's basically like news about whatever they do. So reindeer, they do a lot of like, um, they take care of reindeers. Um, they also hunt. And yeah, the, I've never met a Sami person myself, but I know they're very... Yeah, there's quite a few of them up north. And that's there are from. approximately 2,000 Sami living in Sweden. Only? Okay. I thought it would be more. Number I five. Think. I don't know. 2,000 seems low. I would say about 20,000 at least, because I think there's quite a few. There is a town in Japan called Sweden Hills. Yeah, okay. And as the name suggests, it looks exactly like a regular Swedish neighborhood. So, fun fact about this place. I, one, I saw it like a few years ago now. And I thought it was in Sweden, but then I, I saw Japanese text. I was like, that's a bit weird. But yeah, basically, it's just a town. Uh, I, I think it's like a tribute, uh, as I, my voice cracked. I think it's like a tribute uh, of just Sweden in general, and it's very stereotypical. This red color right here is very common in Sweden. It's called Falurarfai, which is basically this specific red color. So if you look up Red Houses Sweden on like Google, you will see that and it's i think the houses are beautiful uh, in my opinion and yeah there's the a, idea began when a swedish ambassador uh, visited Nathan the village and Japan. remarked how similar it was to his native sweden okay so it was not a tribute that's what i thought it was uh, i don't know i think it was and i think our prime minister went there too back in the days um no idea if anyone lives there but maybe number six go in sweden high school students that are under 20 years old get paid 1050 swedish crowns a month just to go to school it's called okay i don't know if that's correct it, i think it is but it starts at like six form but maybe it was correct but i was never i never knew about it because my parents never told me um, all I know is in Sweden, school is free up until university. Uh, you don't have to pay anything uh, and it's all free. It's all, you know, all the benefits are there, which is great. I mean, I think that should be for everyone. There should be school for everyone, in my opinion, and you shouldn't be, have to pay anything. But then university, you have to pay for, uh, well, the books, uh, just getting into the school, etc. So... I guess we get a thousand uh, kroner, which is about, I guess, a hundred pounds. Um, I don't know, though. I don't remember. Studie Bidragen helps the students to get Stu a feeling Studia for the Bidragen. money. Studie Bidragen, that's what it's called. Number seven. Number seven, let's go. The Swedish law Almond's written gives everyone yeah, the right to access, walk, camp and pick berries and mushrooms on any land. You also can swim and catch fishes in all the lakes. Yes, that's right. So Allemansrätten is a really big thing in Sweden. It's like our, I don't know, it's like our pride, I would say. Um, and it's so common as a Swedish person growing up, you don't even think about it. Literally, it, it, it's simple. He said it there. You can just go anywhere. Um, obviously, you shouldn't go into someone's, like, uh, you know, backyard and have a barbecue. But... In a forest, in an open land, you can walk on it, you can uh, pick berries, you can use the land. It's not like the US or the UK where there's farmers who have like private land. Um, there is private land in Sweden though, but that would be, you know, you can still walk there, but it's, you know, frowned upon. You shouldn't really do it. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really good thing. And I think everyone should have this. And we were taught about this in school and... Yeah, I like it. I think it's a good rule. Number eight. Let's see, number eight. Another very Swedish oh thing God. is snooze. Snooze is a moist powder tobacco product which is placed under the upper lip. There are two types of snooze. Yep. Loose snooze and portion snooze. Yep. So... Let's go back here for fun. So the Lus snooze, 
uh, it's more like a hillbilly thing. It's more like a, I don't know how many people use it. I'll probably say like, if you look at a percentage, probably like 95% use portion and then 5% use less. Maybe some people do use it as like a fun thing to do. Um, I've never tried it, which probably makes me less Swedish, but it doesn't sound very appealing. Um, and yeah, I know a lot of my friends do it. It's not very good for your teeth though. So I've always been like, ah, I don't want to try it and then get addicted to it and then pay because it's quite expensive. I think it's like five pounds for one of those. And I know a lot of people that can get through a whole one of those um, in a whole day. And I will actually show you a fun thing here. This guy is a Swedish football legend and he was renowned for using snooze and he does like four. So he does like two here and two there. Um, and this guy is really famous. Play for Liverpool, uh, play for Gothenburg, which was very, very, very good back in the day. I think they won the Champions League. But that's a fun fact. This guy, he has, he, I think he does four at a time. So pretty mad. <laughs> Right, let's go back to this video. See Number nine. Number nine, two more, let's go baby. System Bolaget is the only retail store in System Sweden Bologget, that is yes. allowed to sell alcoholic beverages with more than 3.5% of alcohol. Right. Also, you have to be 20 years old or older to be able to. I think it's 21, but I actually moved from Sweden before uh, I was allowed to go in there. And I'm not a big fan of alcohol anyways. So for me, it didn't really matter, but that's true. You cannot buy, let's say you want to buy, I'm so bad, but like a bottle of vodka, you know, standard stuff. Uh, that would not be available at your local uh, grocery store. You would have to go into this place. You would have to show your ID. It's government run. There's always like police there. They're always checking that, you know, no one who's underage goes in there and buys. Um, and it's very, very, very common. Uh, there is one thing, though, that is when you're 18 in Sweden, you're allowed to drink, but you're only allowed to drink beverages below 3.5 or drink in a bar. So you're allowed to buy in a bar, um, which is basically the rule. Um, and that's that's it, really. So I, I think it's a good rule. I think it controls alcohol. Uh, maybe it's a bit too strict. Because I know a lot of people get to it buy anyways, any kind of alcoholic drinks in those stores. How we how we've done it? How I know how it's done? Number okay, 10. the last fact. Let's go. The Ice Hotel is a hotel built with snow yeah, and ice in the like village of Jukkasjuvi in northern Sweden, and it is the world's first ice hotel. After its first yep. opening in 1990, the hotel has been built each year and is opened from December to April. And I think that's it. So that was interesting. Uh, most of the facts were correct. I would say they were correct. I think there were some things that weren't perfect, but obviously it can't be. Um, the Ice Hotel is uh, cool. Never been. I've never been further north than like middle of Sweden. So uh, I would like to go one day though. I will give you one last fact. 11th bonus fact is that Sweden have uh, invented a lot of stuff so the tetra pack the zipper uh dynamite and celsius for example i'm probably gonna react to a video uh of people going through what swedish people have invented but this was a fun video i really hope you enjoyed it if you made it this far leave a like leave a comment and i will see you guys next time goodbye